Uh, here we have the uh, T motor F20 1406 4100 kV motor. Uh, this one I bought from uh, Banggood. I just got the single motor for testing. I was curious to see how how it would do compared to uh, all the other 1407 motors. This being a 1406 and uh, with uh, rather somewhat high KV value. Uh, so I just wanted to see how it does on on 4S and 3 inch props. Uh, this motor has some uh, pretty interesting features. It's, uh, it's actually quite light. Uh, I believe this one is, uh, let's see, around 13 grams or so, I think. Let's see. Uh, yeah, 12.8 grams or so. Uh, that includes the uh, uh, the wires, the the lead wires, which are about about uh, 80 80 millimeters, and these are just uh, the windings, extensions from the windings. They're not the silicon wires, so kind of like the old uh, Sunny Skies that uh, you had to, if you cut it, you have to really melt the enamel so you can uh, solder it to, to the ESCs. So some of the different uh, aspects of this motor is uh, are that uh, the mounting holes are 2.5 millimeters. Um, the shaft, uh, this shaft is integrated but it, it's, it's hollow. Hollow. Uh, uh, partially hollow. It's not all the way through because uh, the motor shaft uh, is pressed in right there. The they use a, a C clip right here to f uh, to fasten the shaft, and uh, the the label is it's actual label. It's a sticker, so that was kind of. Not expected, uh, you know, coming from T Motor, I would have thought they would have uh, done the usual etched or laser engraving, whatever it is that they do. But I tend not to like these because uh, as you use them, they get scratched off, and I don't know that they could end up on balancing the motor, but I just don't like it so. Sometimes I just peel them off. I think Emacs was doing that on the first batch of uh, the RS 2205 when they first came out, and I just ended up uh, uh, taking taking it off. I, for, I forget what other motor motor did that too. So uh, that's kind of a downer. But anyway, it's not a it's not some you know just nitpicking. It's not a big big deal. Uh, the stator. It's six millimeters, so they it's it's uh, advertised uh, correctly. So that's right on six millimeters. Uh, looks like they're using uh, 0.2 millimeter um, laminations. I didn't measure it, uh, but it, it looks like that's what it is. And the um, the windings uh, they're using multi-strand. Uh, windings so yeah that's that's all right you know that those perform pretty well uh, magnets looked uh, they look pretty good uh, I don't think they are round magnets but uh, curved magnets but uh, uh, they're pretty well uh, packaged uh, they look pretty good and plenty of uh, epoxy there don't see any balancing mud, so the factory must be doing a really good job at uh, machining these bells because I don't really see any balancing epoxy there. So, so T Motor must have really good manufacturing on these bells. But uh, there's such a small motor that I, I don't know that they need balancing. I, 
I'm not sure. Uh, you would think they do. They would, but. Uh, so, anyways, that's. Uh, oh, here's the, the box that it comes with. Uh, and uh, let's see. Yeah, they just give you a bag of accessories. It's four screws, and it looks like it's. These are pretty short screws. They are. Well, they're only about. Looks like uh, three or three and a half millimeter screws. So I don't know if this would be useful for most frames these days. That's quite short. Uh, so you may have you may have to you may end up uh, having to source some two and a half uh, uh, millimeter Allen screws. And they give you looks like it's a uh, aluminum. Yeah, aluminum lock nut. So. so, anyways, that's the overview of the motor. Uh, so now let's see how it uh, performs and how it compares to the 1407s. Okay, so here are the test results for the T-Motor F20, 1406, 4100 kV. Uh, these are 4S tests. The 3S results I have later on, I'll do another table for that uh, later on. I just wanted to get these uh, out uh, sooner. And uh, 4S just seemed to be the one that people might be the most interested in. Uh, so these are the props I tested uh, all of them on 4s except the, the 4 inch uh, because of the high tra uh, amp draw and the high KV I, I didn't want to test this uh, 4 inch on, on 4s so I just included it here just to get a, a sense of uh, what the motor could do um, uh, as I said pretty pretty high amp uh, although uh, keep in mind these are uh, these are momentary max numbers on a static thrust uh, stand so in the air uh, of course uh, these amperage is not, it's not going to be as high and also the, the thrust is going to be less uh, but the main thing is the amperage so once flying uh, this will be lower I, I usually say about 25 to 35 percent lower so uh, but on this small scale of motors I I, I actually I haven't really checked how much lower because it's kind of hard to strap the uh, power meter on the on a tiny copter uh, so I guess I don't know just to be on the safe side uh, maybe 25 percent less or so so still that's a little bit a little bit high for this 
more, uh, high KV motor. I think for three inch, probably 3600, 3500 KV is probably the best match for three inch props on 4S. Uh, I don't know if, if how many people are running this motor on 4S. I haven't really checked uh, YouTube to see who's running it and how how well it's done but uh, the numbers are pretty good uh, as far as thrust uh, throughout the, the whole uh, test here uh, so one of the best props as usual is the rotor X 3x4x3 uh, uh, 617 but uh, amps are pretty high so uh, I'd be checking for motor temps uh, if you plan on running this on 4S so uh, if you just got them and you're gonna or if you're just gonna try 4S I'd, I'd like go for a quick uh, fast lap and and land it and check motor temperatures make sure they're not uh, overly hot you should be able to to firmly grab them and hold them uh, and without you know burning through your hand uh, so comparing uh, test results against the uh, the king of the micro motors, the uh, Brother Hobby 1407 3600 kV. Uh, let's see, let's see how it compares. Uh, let's see the uh, team racecraft three by three by four. It's uh, almost about the same, about the same uh, thrust. However, the amps on the T motor are higher. As I said, uh, uh, it's a higher KV and a smaller, slightly smaller stator, so it needs to work harder to make that same thrust. Uh, also, you know, the lower KV usually has a little bit more torque, so it doesn't have to struggle at the top end. Uh, next one is the let's compare this uh, Roro X 3x4x3 uh, 617 on this one so so we can see here that uh, the, the this prop is so good that uh, you know it's it's uh, it just spins uh, effortlessly so we can see here that uh, so the higher the high KV that prop is really really uh, coming into its own right here, 617 grams uh, versus 600 on the T motor. So right here, the the KV is uh, doing uh, its part. Uh, again, uh, higher amps, uh, you know. So let's see. The other one is uh, the BYS three by three by three. So that one is 556 on the Brother Hobby and uh, 595 on the on the T motor. So a little bit higher, a uh, little bit more amps. So the motor is actually quite powerful, but uh, you know it'll consume the battery at a higher rate. Uh, uh, the, I, I was noticing though that the um, it was getting a little bit warm after each uh, run so that's why i was saying that uh, if you run it on 4s just make sure you you check your temperatures because it, it did run a little bit a little bit hot on the on the max thrust test uh, whereas the uh, the lower kv motors uh, brother hobby and the other ones i tested uh, they they handle the heat a little bit better so uh, that also happened on the Emax 4, uh, 1306 4000 kV. That one was also getting kind of toasty, so uh, so that's something to watch out for. Uh, and I I do have the results for the Emax here. So let's look at the difference between the 1406 and the 1306. Uh, this here on the right is the Emax. Uh, let's see, DYS, uh, 3x3x3, 442, and versus 595, so uh, this one's doing much better. Again, uh, 
a little bit more amps. This was only drawing 13 amps, so this one looks like it's uh, it just doesn't have the torque to drive that prop. Uh, most of these props are anything any higher. Uh, Pro X 471 versus 617, so a big difference, you know, with the with the larger stator. Uh, so then, uh, yeah, overall, uh, pretty pretty good motor. Uh, uh, one of the advantages is it's pretty light, so this would would go really well on a super light three-inch build. Uh, and it, it seems that it'll, it'll take for us, but uh, again, uh, don't uh, uh, just be careful about it. I mean, I'm not, I, I, I can't say I would 100% uh, uh, say that it, it'll it'll do fine on 4S. Uh, just uh, again, check the temps, the motor temps, or search to see if people are running this one on 4s already so if it's proven then no no problem uh, uh and the factory only i think they only rated uh, at 3s i believe uh, this motor so uh yeah this would be over over the recommended uh, voltage uh so you know hope you find this useful and uh, as usual thanks for watching and check back soon for other videos and i'll have the 3s uh, uh, 3s results uh, in a few days